Hey folks, it's me and Sadie. Um, Sadie is uh, now my co-host, obviously. This is not planned. I didn't ask her, but she obviously has taken it on. Um, and so, um, <laughs> dog is my co-pilot. Um, so this week has been um, pretty eventful. I feel like I have been pretty productive. Um, uh, I started with a new therapist and, um, I really liked him. We're gonna, the next time we meet, we're gonna do some brain spotting. Um, if you don't know what that is, I'll give you a brief explanation. Um, you, uh, you use a technique. Um, I watched a, a guy use a wand, and then um, the wand moves, and your eye follows the wand until um, a part of your brain um, is spotted or is uh, recognized as a point of trauma. It's um, it's a technique used for healing trauma, processing trauma. Um, you know, there, there are things that we have um, in different kinds of trauma. It can be large trauma, um, violence, sexual assault, uh, the death of a, a loved one, um, things like that, or smaller traumas, um, hurt feelings, um, someone uh, causes you to sort of relive old trauma um, so you get you can get in a cycle but also uh, that trauma gets locked in and you relive it and um, you sort of operate um, with it in a certain way that uh, I do that might not uh, always be healthy so brain spotting allows you to um, change the emotional reaction around the trauma or um, allows you to, instead of reacting to that old hurt, um, you're more objective and you can use it as information. Um, so anyway, I'm looking forward to that and working on some things. Um, this week I've been thinking a lot about masculinity and femininity and what's feminine and what's masculine and um, I had someone um, a friend of mine comment made a comment that um, I'm lovely in my masculinity, um, she sees something in me, probably of the old me, and there are uh, traits, physical and emotional, that I have that might be considered feminine. Um, I, I know what she means, and... Um, one part of me appreciates it, likes it, um, likes the reality of it, the subversiveness of it, the um, maybe even the complication of it. But there's a theory in art that maybe I've mentioned this before. I'm old and I may begin to repeat myself. Um, there's a theory in art that um, something is ugly because there's something out of place or there's something physically there that shouldn't be there or there's something physically unexpected um, perhaps something that's of the body um, that kind of thing and uh, and also in the same 
line of thought is the idea that something can't be attractive unless it's ugly. It needs that ugliness, and I am in that camp. That's um, I don't. I'm not attracted to what's typically beautiful, or um, I don't know. Classic beauty, I guess, doesn't interest me. Um, but anyway, when I was a kid, and even as a kid, I thought a lot about transness, although I wasn't using that word then. Um, and I'm not sure what word I used or if there was a word, but there was a sort of um, iconic representation in my mind, some sort of reference, some sort of um, idea of what it was to be a trans man based on um, what I knew about myself and what I knew about that relative that I had and um, and then what ideas I formed around movies and culture and transphobia, bigotry, all of those things influenced me in my ideas about what it looked like to be trans. Um, and in my 20s and 30s, I was really into these certain guys um, in LA that they just look so good. Um, Pre-T, um, this one guy had, you know, a little beard and um, just, a, just a look that I thought was so cool and beautiful. Um, and since then, maybe 20 years later, he started taking testosterone and he looks great. And uh, um, I love the way he looks now and I love the way he looked then. Um, anyway. It, uh, you know, it, it's, it's made me think about things that aren't so easy to talk about. Um, I'm always worried that I'm going to trigger someone <laughs> or something, but uh, I just want to talk about this, so I'm going to. So, if, you know, I don't know. If you're, if you're vibing that you need to turn it off, go ahead. Um, but... Like, when I take selfies of myself for Instagram, I will look through the photographs and judge them. I want the one that looks most masculine. Um, and I have learned that a certain place in the house makes me look what I think is more masculine or a certain lighting or um, the cut of my jib from a certain angle. <laughs> Um, and then other angles make me sad, actually, make me, um, I don't know, reckon with that angle, that, that viewpoint that looks more feminine and holds more of the old me. Um, and I, I'd be happy to go as far over to the masculine side as possible to, um, you know, I've said several times that the uglier I get, the better I look. Um, and uh, I don't know if any of this is making sense to you guys. I know we all have our own ways of thinking about this. And um, I, I existed so long internally and just had these thoughts. Um, and now as I'm transitioning and um, have matured, um, those thoughts have changed and shifted and my perspective changes, but yet um, I still have a long way to go and that's exciting. Um, yeah, it's a uh, I think it's this thing that happens happens with I found with people that knew me before that knew Sam and um, 
if you didn't have that reference point, then what I've noticed that is that people just accept me as male, and uh, it stops there. But if they knew me before, I, um, you know, they can see the old me and um, and this new, uh, more masculine version, um, a male version, and. Um, like I, I went up to Santa Fe to see a good buddy of mine and we went to a couple of galleries and we went out to lunch and we were having lunch and the waitress came over and said, or maybe I should say wait person or, or waiter, <laughs> um, came over and said, gentlemen, may I take your order? And she walked away and, and uh, my friend said, um, I guess that's what happens now. You're just seen as male. And, and I thought, really? Is that so surprising? <laughs> um, but, you know, that's not necessarily what he meant. Um, because he went on to say that, is it politically correct to walk up to a table and refer to the two people there as gentlemen? Um, shouldn't she say folks? And, um, and yes, um, there there are a lot of us that um, think that that is the way to go, that we should, I guess, sort of, um, you know, in doing that, acknowledge that gender is, is different things for different people. But um, I, I said to my friend that I like it. I like when I hear it. I waited a long time to hear it. So... Um, for me, it's affirming and um, nice to be seen. Um, so anyway, I um, have been seeing a therapist for years who's a gender specialist, and I really admire and respect this person and got a lot of good work done. Um, but I took a break and... They texted to ask me if we were going to continue uh, therapy, and I realized that I was avoiding making a decision to move on. My instincts were just telling me that I wanted to kind of work on things from a different perspective. And so now I am working with a cis man who's not a gender specialist, but um, he had listed as uh, he listed transgender and. LBGTQ, I think, issues on the webpage. Um, and he's a really cool guy. Um, and uh, I really enjoyed our first session. So, um, but some of my homework is making me think about these things and also family dynamics and how I've been emotionally constructed. Um, how so many things, uh, traumatic things, um, have shaped me, and um, I'm looking forward to working on those things and moving p through them. Um, and I delivered with Uber Eats. Last night I worked from 5 to 10, and uh, I enjoyed it for the most part. You know, people were nice. Um, there's a place that has delicious burritos, and I just know that people, uh, I get why people want these things delivered, you know, miles away. They're craving them. Um, so anyway, uh, I met a lot of nice folks as I handed them their mail and made a little money. Um, so I think I'm going to go out again tonight and see how it is on a weekend night. And uh, looking forward to the new Mr. Rogers documentary. I think it's coming out in a few days. So <laughs> I'm going to cry all the way through. I cry at the trailer all the time. Um, and that's so funny. Like my own, I don't know what it is, if it's misogyny or what it is, but I still cry when I, uh, I'm i tender and I get touched in a movie. <laughs> and um, But I'm way more self-conscious and aware now than before 
transitioning. Um, and uh, I don't know. I'm sure other fellas um, openly weep. But um, anyway, uh, what else? This week in the studio has just been gessoing. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to sand and start some new paintings. Happy about that. I had to, uh, I had to put um, my other art project, the He art project, on the side for a minute so that I could catch up because I owe my gallery a whole bunch of work. So I got to get that done first. Um, and uh, um, I went and had blood work done today. I haven't had it in maybe a year. I'm not sure. How long it's been? I know I'm late getting it. I'm curious about what my testosterone levels are. Um, and uh, what else? I guess, I guess that's enough. I don't even know how long is this. Oh, I just went over, I think. Oh, well. Um, okay. Well, I guess that's enough. I will uh, see you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Okay, bye-bye.